In today's video, I'm gonna to explain to you the difference between using log and using primary color wheels. It's very simple, there's not really much into it. I've been asked a lot of questions to do a video basically explaining what the hell the difference is. So here we have it. And as always, let's dive into DaVinci Resolve and I'm going to show you exactly what's going on between those two. So in today's video, we're going to be looking at primary wheels versus log or log wheels, whatever you want to call them. So by default, I have chart over here going from 100% white to 50% gray. And we can see it over here on the chart. Let me bring some scopes that way we can all see together what the hell is going on now i'm gonna do a slight modification i'm gonna stretch it down a little bit okay to all the way to the bottom so now we have from 100 going all the way to zero to demonstrate it better so now i'm going to create a new node and in this node we're gonna start with a log so basically log is very precise when it comes to adjustments for example if i'm gonna go and move my shadows all the way blue we can see where that blue color is being affected somewhere around here okay now midtones with the midtones let's do all the way to the red we can see kind of very faintly let me add something we can see a little bit better i'll increase saturation a little bit okay so that's red and with the highlights i'm gonna go all the way green so we can see they pretty much stay within the range now what's the difference you may ask well here's the trick with the lock control you have low range and you have a high range and basically everything in between with well, the low range affects shadows and high range affects highlights. Basically, we can dial precisely where we want our shadows to start. For example, if I put it to zero, we can see that I don't have shadows anymore. We basically go straight from midtones all the way to the highlights. And I can do the very same thing with the highlights if I'm going to start pushing them down. We can see that little by little they've taken away the midtones. And if I'm going to do vice versa, we can see that midtones taking over basically everything. Now, with the low range, if I want to introduce some of that blue again, all I have to do just increase it, and here we have it. And same goes with the high range. I can either crush it down, that way we're pretty much eliminating everything in the middle, or I can elevate it. So log is very useful when it comes to precise adjustments like for example if you're doing some kind of technical grading and i'm going to demonstrate to you in the next tutorial i'm going to do this is where the log wheels very handy now with the primary let me reset this really quick with the primary everything being blended pretty evenly so we have basically shadows here we have uh, midtones, and then we have kind of highlights. So we can see they all have very even, nice roll off, and they're not that precise. Now, there is technically no correct and wrong way of doing. It all depends on your style precisely, depending on the situation, obviously, depending what you're color grading. You may use, I personally use most of the times, primaries because I really like how uh, soft adjustments are I hardly do any kind of like little weird grading hopefully uh, that was valid information and it can help you out be sure to check out rmk.us for additional content downloadable stuff presets and other kinds of things and I'll see you guys soon